Alrighty, so today we're going to be taking a personality quiz. Um, apparently there's 16 personalities that I don't know about, and I'm going to figure out which one I am. So let's get right into it. You regularly make new friends. I would say so. Complex and novel ideas excite you more than simple and straightforward ones. Simple and straightforward is usually the way to go. You usually feel more persuaded by what resonates emotionally with you rather than by factual argument. Emotionally? No. Your living and working space are clean and organized. Yes, they are. You usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure sure all the time you find the idea of networking or promoting yourself to strangers very daunting i guess yeah networking or promoting yeah just a little bit you prioritize and plan tasks effectively often completing them well before the deadline i like to finish things before it's just another workload i have to worry about so people's stories and emotions speak louder to you than numbers or data people's stories and emotion to you no Sorry, people. You like to use organizing tools like schedules and lists. No. Even a small, I mean, it's because I already know what I have on my schedule in my brain, but I use them whenever I need to. Don't like using them, I guess. Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. No. If I know something, I know it. Unless proven wrong, then, um, I'll keep doing it that way. Feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. I have done this a couple times before and uh, yeah, I feel comfortable enough to walk up to someone, strike a conversation. Be like, hey, you look pretty cool. So my baby. What's up my cutie patootie? You are not too interested in discussions about various interpretations of critic work. Uh, disagree a little bit. Prioritize facts over people's feelings when determining a course of action. I would say so, most of the time. You often allow the day to unfold without any schedule at all. <laughs> no. That's horrible. It's like, hmm, what do I need to do? I don't know. I'll remember later. And then never doing it. I, I couldn't do that. Rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. Unless it's like a job or like a really awesome person that I want to get to know. I would rarely worry about it. You enjoy participating in team-based activities. Sometimes I enjoy it. Am I good at them? No. You enjoy experimenting with new and untested approaches. I'd say that's good. You prioritize being sensitive over being complete the cold hard truth what we're gonna give you you actively seek out new experiences and knowledge areas to explore oh yeah you're prone to worrying that things will take a turn for the worse. that sounds like a doomsday prepper i wouldn't say that's me but i would say it's neutral because i do take the worst case scenario in mind you enjoy solitary hobbies or activities more than group ones i enjoy doing something solo but group events can be good group activities can be good you cannot imagine yourself writing fictional stories for a living i disagree on that one i might not be a good writer but you favor efficiency and decisions even if it means disregarding some emotional ice but yes do your chores before allowing yourself to relax 100 percent actually because then if i relax i'm not gonna be doing them in disagreements you prioritize proving your point over preserving the feelings of others for the most part or yes you give them the facts you let them know what it is and then if they still feel that way then you know try and make them at least feel a little better you usually wait for others to introduce themselves first at social gatherings at the social gatherings i go to it would be like half and half so we're going neutral your mood can change very quickly no <laughs> you are not easily swayed by emotional argument yeah no you often end up doing things at the last possible that's horrible that's just adding more work to yourself you enjoy debating ethical dilemmas eh. why not you usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own depends who it is you become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical no i disagree on that when facts and feelings conflict you usually find yourself following your heart no fine you find it challenging to maintain a consistent work or study schedule you rarely second guess the choices that you have made i would agree on that because i made the choices obviously there's a reason for me to do it so i'm not going to second guess myself your friends would describe you as lively and outgoing they definitely wouldn't yeah you know i'm talking about you i know you're watching you are drawn to various forms of creative expression such as writing. Am I drawn to it? No. You usually base your choices on objective facts rather than emotional impressions. Yeah. You like to have a to-do list for each day. You rarely feel insecure. That I mean, look at me. You rarely feel insecure. Yeah. You avoid making phone calls. No. Because I try sometimes to avoid texting because phone calls are a lot easier to get my point across and it saves me time of being a, such a slow typer. You enjoy exploring unfamiliar ideas and viewpoints. I would enjoy a little bit. You can easily connect with people.
people you have just met. I can, 100%. If your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get them back on track as soon as possible. If my plans are interrupted, I usually leave enough time so that even if it is interrupted, I have enough time to finish it. I want to say it's my top priority. You are still bothered by mistakes that you made a long time ago. No, I do think on what I could have done differently, but other than that, I don't dwell on them. I'm not bothered by them, I should say. You're not too interested in discussing theories on what the world could look like. I do. It would be cool to discuss those type of theories. Your emotions control you more than you know. When making decisions, you focus on how they affected people might feel than on what is the most logical or efficient. No. If people work more efficiently, then they'll be mentally better and then they probably won't feel that. Personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organizing consistent efforts. So who has spontaneous and bursts of energy? That sounds more like a of a runner's high than a work style. When someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it will take them to feel. Okay. I know I'm laughing, but I there's people that are like agree. I 100% agree. My senpai. No, I don't want to disappoint Gosho Jin sama. You know, you would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. I would you believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions. I wouldn't say so. You feel more drawn to busy, bustling atmospheres than to quite intimate places. No. If a decision feels right, you often act on it without needing further proof. <clears throat> no. You often feel overwhelmed. You complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. Ah, uh, yeah, I would agree easier that way you prefer tasks that require you to come up with creative solutions rather than follow concrete steps uh, i'm pretty neutral about it depending on what it is if it's like a build or something like that you know you would want to have step by step or create a solution art forms and whatnot so i'm pretty neutral about that you are more likely to rely on emotion intuition than logical reasoning no struggle with deadlines I do not. I get things done before the deadline, so I don't have to worry about it. You feel confident that things will work out for you. I completely agree because I'm the one making the decisions for me. Other. What the heck is other? Commander. E N T J dash A. Commanders are bold, imaginative, and strong willed, always finding a way or making one. 51% extroverted. Extroverted individuals readily enjoy group activities and value social interaction. They tend to be outwardly enthusiastic and express their excitement. Sometimes. Sometimes. I want to say, I guess it's half and half for you. Almost the perfect half and half, actually. Intuitive. Intuitive individuals are very imaginative, open-minded, and curious. They value originality and focus on hitting meanings and distant possibilities. Oh. Thinking individuals focus on objectively and rationally, often dismissing emotions in favor of logic. They tend to see effectiveness as more important than social harmony. 76% judging. Judging individuals are decisive, thorough, and highly organized. They value clarity, predictability, and closure. Pref preferring structure and planning to spontaneity. Assertive. Assertive individuals are self-assured, even-tempered, and resistant to stress. They refuse to worry too much and tend to be self-confident when striving to achieve goals. Well, uh, that was my first time ever doing a personality quiz and not what I expected it to be. There was a lot of questions. Regardless, I'm an ENTJ, so... Oh, dash A, you better remember that. You better remember that. Uh, other than that, I don't know if that's good or bad. What's your personality type? Let me know in the comments. And if there's any other quizzes that you think I should do, personality-wise, it can be any type. Let me know. I'll be down to do it. Because that, this is actually pretty fun. It's cool to see what it was and read through all of it, too. Till then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Your personality test progress. 16 personalities complete. 16 personalities complete. There's only 16. God dang it. It's that it was free. Submit.